Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to share about where to shoot film in Singapore. As you know, Singapore is kind of small. So many people that are just starting off in photography as a hobby will kind of lost on uh, where to shoot next. So if you follow me on this channel, you know I have been uh, shooting regularly around Singapore. I have been to quite some places. So maybe I can sort it out for you guys so you have some ideas on uh, where to shoot next. From here, I have sorted out uh, 10 places. If you are lazy to watch through the whole videos, you can just skip to the mini mark that I have stated. Um, without further ado, let's jump into it. Number 1, Labrador Nature Reserve. Labrador Nature Reserve, also known as uh, Labrador Park, it is located at the southern part of Singapore. It is home to the only rocky sea cliff on the mainland that is accessible to the public. What makes this place so interesting is that it is a combination of forest greeneries, trekking trail, some historical monuments and the sea view. It's well packed with interesting subject to shoot. The forest here is like covered along the trails. Along the way you can find some historical forts, tunnels or replicas which is conserved from the wall last time. At the other side, it connects to a rocky seaside. Along there, you can see some boat fishing men and a red light house. Number 2. Pasir Ris Park. Pasir Ris Park is a beach park located in the eastern part of Singapore. This coastal park opened in 1989 and is among the largest in Singapore. It occupies uh, 70 hectares of land, including some reclaimed land and stretched over 3.2 kilometers. This place is quite interesting to shoot because it has multiple trails, a stable, you can see horses, mangrove road walk, bird watching tower and beach. Number 3, Marichi Reservoir. Marichi Reservoir is the Singapore's oldest reservoir. The reservoir was completed in 1868 by impounding water from the earth embankment. It actually took me three and a half hours to complete the 11 km nature trails. And of course, along the trails, you are covered with the canopy of forests. You can find a lot of interesting woods, trees, Road walks surrounding the turquoise water of the reservoir. It is definitely a lot to shoot along such a long trail. Number 4, Hot Park. Hot Park is a 9 hectare small park located at the southwestern part of Singapore. It is a one stop gardening resources hub that brings together gardening related, recreational, and educational research and retail activities under one big canopy in a park. There's a lot of things you can shoot in here even though it is small. There are all the team garden like Balinese garden, butterfly garden, valley of edibles, flora walk, therapeutic garden and more. You can spot all different varieties of flora and plants over here if you are into macro photography. Seleta Aerospace Park. Seleta Aerospace Park is an industrial park located in Seleta, Singapore, catering to the aerospace industry. It is a park beside the Seleta Airport, which operates as a general aviation airport for chartered flights and training purposes. There are quite a number of conserved former colonial houses, which is quite photogenic, and it's very easy to spot some private jet taking off here. Want to shoot some planes? Come here. Number 6, East Coast Park. I believe everyone knows about this already. East Coast Park is a famous beach and a park encompassing Marine Parade, Bado and Tampanese along the southeastern coast of Singapore. I think the beach is around uh, 15 kilometers. There are a lot of people cycling around. There is also a skate park 
around which you can shoot some action photos. In the middle of the trails, there's a jetty which a lot of people fishing over there. It's quite an interesting scene to shoot. Number 7, Chinatown. Chinatown is a great place to do uh, street photography, but do beware, people here might get irritated quite easily. Besides that, there are some heritage sites or temples over here, some interesting buildings and street. Oh, if you would like to try out night photography, I would recommend here. There's quite a number of neon signs over here and a traffic to do long exposures. Number 8, Bukis. I think personally I find here is the best place to do uh, street photography in Singapore but only entitled to this uh, Albert Street. People here are less, ag less aggressive and of course we must uh, respect people's privacy. Over uh, Albert Street here, you can get enough crowd of people, uh, shoppers or workers going through their daily routines. Temples, street vendors, food center, all you can find here. Number 9, Zhu Chiet Road. Zhu Chiet Road is an arterial road and a resident conservation area in the eastern part of Singapore. It is mainly bound by the conserved shop houses that are colorful painted on both sides of the road. There are some street arts, indie cafe, art house, even a Pranakan house over here. It's kind of a hippie place over here. It was also declared as a Singapore's first heritage town. Last but not least, number 10, Tiong Bahru Heritage Trails. Tiong Bahru Road today stretch for more than 3 kilometers, similar to the previous one, is a hippie places. The heritage trail is full of old architectural buildings, shop houses, cafe, bars and bakeries. There's even a big Tiong Bahru market which you can do some street photos inside. If you are looking for a hipster, old school kind of theme for your shot, this is definitely the place. Here are the top 10 places I recommended for you guys to do some shoot. Doesn't matter if it's a flame or digital. Hope this list actually helped and gave you guys uh, a brief idea about the place before you go and shoot. If you are new to the channel and doing uh, mainly film photography content over this channel, more on a, a shoot and chill kind of content that you can just uh, chill and tag along on the journey of me uh, shooting film. Do check it out my other content on this channel. If you like it, do subscribe and see you guys in the next video. Bye!